We can simplify this rational expression. Uh, first I'll show you sort of a longer method that should make fairly clear what we're up to. And then I'll refer to the quotient rule, which gives us a nice fast way to solve the problem. Okay, um, So I'm taking the original problem and I'm just rewriting it. There's my denominator. p squared, that's simply p times p. Okay. And then P or excuse me, Q to the sixth is one, two, three, four, five, six Qs all multiplied together. And because everything here is being multiplied, everything here is being multiplied, and all of this is supposed to divide, we can cancel by a common factor. So P goes into P once p goes into p once. And we could say that um, q goes into q once and q goes into q once. And now what's left standing? All right. So the denominator, that's just a 1. We don't really need it anymore. In the numerator, we have p And then we have one, two, three, four, five Qs. So this is simplified as much as possible. But rather than going through all that trouble, which would be a lot of work, um, we want you to use the quotient rule. So let me go down a little bit here. And this just allows you to say, let's rewrite our equation, excuse me, our expression. It's not an equation. And you have to keep in mind there's an exponent of 1, an exponent of 1. And then you simply say, These will cancel out. 2 minus 1 leaves us with 1. This will cancel out. 6 minus 1 leaves us with 5. So we end up with, I guess I'll keep going sideways, um, p to the first power, q to the fifth. Sort of an easier way to go. Um, I've discussed these in other videos um, to uh, maybe in more depth with a few examples. So we'll zoom in on this. Uh, it might be hard to read, but um, if you go into YouTube, Exponent Review of Rules for Basic Operation, this covers it. And also this one, it says Positive Exponent. Um, again, I know that's hard to read. Uh, but these are both in YouTube and it describes what I cover. So this was positive exponent with fractions, so that's covered in there.